Well, we really do appreciate you joining us. Uh, you're in the States in lockdown. That must be a really surreal and, and also scary place to be right now. Yeah, I mean, theoretically, I, so we accidentally sort of escaped LA. We were, we, my boyfriend and I were due to go to Vancouver for four and a half months to do a film out there. Um, and the timing of it was we were like, oh, four and a half months. There's lots going on in my life in the last sort of year and a half, two years. And it was like, maybe we just get somewhere new and we save four and a half months of rent. So we handed our notice and two days later, coronavirus like came to visit. And then, <laughs> so we were like, oh, we'll go to the, I bought a little house in Colorado last year on a, on a slightly um, <clears throat> grieving and day drinking whim. One of my best drunken decisions ever. Hold on, you, um, got, you, you got drunk and you purchased a house? Yeah. Wow. Yeah. I didn't snog a stranger. I, I bought, a, bought, <laughs> bought a house. house. <laughs> <laughs> Which is slightly more regrettable, I imagine. Yeah, I would say so. My boyfriend appreciated it a lot more, I would yeah. say. Yeah. Oh, that's um, awesome. But, so the plan was to be out here for a couple of weeks before we went to the movie. And then, of course, the movie and everything else shut down. So now, now, um, can you see? Now I live in Colorado. Oh, Just wow. Look at that. Oh, sorry, we can't see the screen. I'll come over. Oh, yeah, come wow. in. So it looks like qu quite a quiet wee place. Yeah, so that's where I was going with that long-winded explanation is like um, it's not that scary here because sort of if you walked out on the street here on a normal day, you probably wouldn't bump into anyone anyway. So it's not that – we're still going on hikes and stuff. Sorry to rub it in, but, yeah. You And uh, so it's, it's been quite sweet. A lot of weed, a lot of weed in Colorado. Oh, yeah, but, yeah. There's no yeah. shortage. No shortage no of weed. No shortage. But, you know, in, Col in California, everything's all legal and there's shops and they make them into candies and shit anyway. So, oh, sorry. <laughs> Mate, this is family-friendly stuff, Zoe Bell. <laughs> we're, yeah. try we're trying to clean up our act now. <laughs> I'm even wearing gloves. <laughs> yeah, you should have told me before I got on. <laughs> no, I need to get Do you know, last time, last time uh, we saw you, Zoe, um, and I was a little embarrassed to make you do this. We were uh, filming a silly little sketch for our TV show. And we're, in a, we're in a dingy park in the middle of auckland city and we made you get changed in the park and and you you had yeah. no, for, like for the scene for the scene it wasn't like you're getting yeah like we all did it, it wasn't just like it was you, here. Can you, take that off, you you mean being in a car in a car park well, we didn't have a, we didn't have a trailer we're not like quentin tarantino yeah you know that like we don't have those sort of you know but I, I i had a lot of respect for you that day i'm like you're a hollywood you're a hollywood superstar and you're getting changed in the car park of a of a, you know, there's a homeless guy shooting up in the corner. <laughs> Getting changed with homeless guys eating food off the ground. You know, keep it real. <laughs> now, now, Zoe, we've got we to gotta talk about this amazing video you've done during and then lockdown, the Boss Bitch video. Uh, you've got, like, a whole host of celebrities. It is, uh, someone said the other day, it's the best thing you'll see on the internet all day, and they were not wrong. It's gone everywhere. I saw it on CNN. You must be just stoked with how it went. Uh, yeah, yeah. I mean, absolutely. It's sort of, it's sort of, it kind of from the beginning, you know. So I'd seen a video. I didn't come up with the the original idea. I'd some a bunch of people sent me this video by. I should have memorized this before I came on. C U C something rather French, um, amazing sort of parkour stunt guys, um, and there was like thirty eight people in it. But I watched it and I was like, damn, that's fly. I love that. But there was only three women in it, and and I think like two of the women. One woman was coming out of the shower and got knocked out by the guy accident. I was like, oh, come on, we can do better than that. <laughs> and I just had a moment, I was laying in bed watching it and I was like, I could do an old girls one just with like stunt girls. And then I was like, oh, you know, I bet Lucy would want to play. And I was like, I think Tracy Toms would probably, and Rosario would be good. And I just had that like, oh, I'll just reach out, you know? So oh. I sent out the first email and the response was so sort of organic and, and positive. Not like a, I, I wasn't, I didn't have to ask favors. There was no like, it didn't feel like they were doing it because it was going to get them anywhere. It was just like, that's a great fun. Let's do it. Oh, it's so cool. It, what I, what I admire yeah. about it is that, uh, the fact that you've, you've obviously thought about it. You, know, you haven't just gone, I oh, punched the camera and we'll fall back. You've gone, well, someone's throwing a puzzle and that's going to end up in the other shot and someone's you know, spitting on the other one. And that's going to end up, it's like, it's impressive. <laughs> well, listen, I gotta be honest. A lot of that is working with incredible people too, because I suddenly had other actresses coming out of the woodwork and there was like 30 people and I was, you know, I, and they were coming out as we were shooting. So I was, I had like, this will work for that chunk and that'll work for that chunk. And now someone needs to come here. So that means someone else needs to take the spit and someone else, you know, and I have the women that I work with 
basically if they bought actors in i was like right those are your responsibility tell me what you're thinking about doing and then i'll make it fit in so i I, like i was sort of orchestrating but i can't take full credit for that at all that's just working with good people no this is what this interview is about you taking full credit (laughs) oh sorry in that case i orchestrated the lot i wrote it i just made sure everyone did exactly what i wanted i told cameron where to go and what to do now that's the thing because you said you reached out to all these people is it a big group email situation like cameron ds6 at gmail i don't know why she'd be the sixth cameron Cameron Diaz should probably be the first. Or like a WhatsApp group you've got with all your buddies? Or how's it work? (laughs) Well, with the stunt girls, it was. We kept the actresses separate just because, you know, a lot of the, well, they're all quite big names. And so just out of respect, keeping their emails private. No, I understand Um, that. You can do that big group one where you don't see everyone's emails. You don't want to get the BCC and the CC wrong on that though, right? Oh, no. (laughs) And I've done that before. So I just avoid it because there is much trouble that can come from that. And even, but even the actresses that came in, I think I bought seven of the 19 or nine of the 17 or some variation of those numbers. And, um, but you know, then the other actresses, so Kim Murphy was the one who reached out to Cameron. She works with Cameron all the time. Um, and Cameron got excited, and then of course Cameron reached out to Drew, and I've worked with Drew before, so it was all just kind of it all, it all happened quite. That's not to say it wasn't tricky and a lot of heart and a lot of work, but it it happened really sort of organically, which was part of the joy of it. Really, it wasn't I, awesome. it wasn't like pulling teeth at all. Did you uh, did you monetize the video on YouTube? <laughs> 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 About to. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> when you wake up to a million, you're like. Surely, surely there's some dollars. I know. <laughs> surely, surely I should be making. Surely there's some dollars. <laughs> uh, uh, we're talking to Zoe Bell, uh, but you probably get asked this question all the time. But I feel like I need to ask it. What's the, what's the one stunt that you've done that you're most proud of? Oh, um, for different stunts you get proud of for different reasons. But like, obviously, the death proof sequence on the car is is sort of oh, one yeah. of those ones. It's the, it's the one time in my life I have watched a sequence after the fact. And still, I still flinch. Wow. Like, oh my God, that, and I'm like, I know that that didn't hit me because I, I would know it if it hit me, you know, <laughs> yeah. but I still flinch watching that, watching that. And that's, that's due in large to all the other people that were involved in Cameron, I mean, the camera and I was about to say Cameron, Cameron was not there. <laughs> so and this Quentin, is what, when you were like, you had uh, like belts and you were basically on the front of a windsc- windscreen, right? And you were kind of like yeah. attached to that. Yeah. So that part's kind of, to be honest, that part, and I'm not saying do this at home because don't, because cars are designed to be aerodynamic, which means you come off very, very easy. So don't do it at home. And let's just also remember you did a campaign for the Land Transport Safety Authority as well. (laughs) Oh, you did. Oh, you guys, they don't want to put that together here. I wasn't driving distracted. I was very conscious of what I was doing. Good, good, (laughs) good. I don't want you to lose. I don't want you to lose that lucrative LTSA dollar, Zoe. <laughs> we have got Zoe Bell with us. Oh, yeah. Zoe Bell with us uh, live from Colorado on on Zoom now. Zoe, uh, you've you've obviously worked with Quentin Tarantino for many many years now. What has been the one pinch yourself moment on on any one of his movie sets? The one pinch yourself moment. If there's been any, or if you're just like, oh, this is just work. It's a ball ache. <laughs> yeah. There's bloody oh, DiCaprio wandering boring. around. Does it become yeah, like working yeah. with Quentin is one thing. It's boring. That's the <laughs> I can no, imagine the opposite. Definitely... You are? I can imagine it's the opposite with someone like him. He just seems like a genius. Yeah, no. Not boring. Never boring. No, when, whatever facet of the sort of scale you're on, boring doesn't really register on there. Um, pinch me myself moments. There's lots of them. And I'll tell you, the, most of them happen when, because you do, when you're doing something all the time, it stops being a story. It just becomes your day, you know? And there, those are the moments when you're in the middle of doing something and then you have a moment and you go, oh my God, hang on a minute, you know. And I had, I, the two that popped up for me was, uh, and there's heaps of them actually now, they're all popping up, but one was on um, uh, Hateful Eight and I was doing some scene and I popped up into the window and Tim Roth had decided to stay in there for my offline. <laughs> wow. I don't know if I was aware of that or not. Like, <laughs> I popped up and there was Tim and I did my little thing and I got back down and he came up to me and and. And we did, a, we did another one, and this time I knew he was in there. And the second time I went in there, my job was to basically just try and be cute. That was sort of my direction from Quentin. He said, be cute and die good. That was basically the whole <laughs> of that character. Um, and in the middle of my scene, Tim's face started to change. Like, he was looking at me like, oh, she's so sweet. Like, he totally broke out of character because he was, like, looking at me like I was cute. And I remember thinking, 
oh my god this is amazing that was like a that was definitely like a I just made Tim Roth break character because I was being cute. Like yeah, that. nice, nice. That's because, yeah. and and I uh, now I respect Quinton's work. Like the guy's a genius, but I reckon it'd be one of those geniuses where his admin in his personal life would just be a shambles. <laughs> like his inbox on his email would be in the hundreds of thousands. Doesn't do it. Just he doesn't, doesn't do, do email. I mean, he does. He actually he does. He emailed me back the other day, and I was like. Ding, ding, it was like when a jackpot you know? <laughs> he's he, never emailed <laughs> yeah no he doesn't really email he often doesn't have a cell phone um yeah. scripts he still writes on a word processor <laughs> so it's like it's for real he doesn't how does anyone get hold of him if he doesn't have a cell phone and he doesn't email. I guess he kind gets of, hold of I them. Think that's kind of the point. That's the, oh, <laughs> I don't think he wants to be bugged that much. <laughs> hey, Quentin, why are you not replying? Uh, well, sorry, Bill. And he still and he still has a landline, which I. I love. Oh, <laughs> him and me. I am the only person in New Zealand with still an airline. Oh, uh, well, Zoe, congratulations again on the Boss Bitch video. It is so epic. Uh, it's, it's taken the internet by storm. Before we go, can we just, can we choreograph something through Zoom right now? Can you like, can you tell us how, how you guys did a, a little little punch? Can we go up to the camera and you punch us? Yes. Can he, can, can you come closer to the camera? So how, cl okay, how so close, so Jono's going to get close to the camera. How close does he need to get? Well, basically the theory is, this is the basic theory, is you start with a full screen and you end with a full screen. So I would, if you're taking the hit, if I was taking the hit in the forehead, yeah, yeah. exactly. <laughs> this, this I can't see it, but it looks pretty funny. Yeah. So I will punch into the screen and then Jono or Ben, who, who once goes first, yeah. takes the hit like this, boom, what the, bang, and then they punch and then the other one will go, Ugh. Oh, okay. Uh. Oh, okay, so, so I'm going. So then we'll pass it round the oh, three of us. Oh, so it's like Jono's like, punched oh. me, you know? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay, okay, cool, yeah. cool. So do okay. I need to but start? When, but when you throw the punch, when you throw the punch, make sure that your fist covers, like, you fill the screen, because that's oh, yeah. kind of where the cutting okay. point is. Okay, okay, cool, cool. This is clever, okay. okay. All right, okay. I'm going to take I'm gonna take a hit as if some random person did it, so you don't have to feel bad about being a boy punching a girl. Okay, okay. no, okay. okay. So this is uh, this is stunt work with Zoe Bell, <laughs> Feet, Jono and Ben. This okay. is going to, we're going to be bad. This is a pinch yourself moment for us right now. Okay. You ready? Yeah. Three, two, one. Oh, oh. oh, oh that looks sore. <laughs> oh, 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 you hit Jono. Oh. 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 Quick, punch it, punch it, punch it. Oh, 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 you hit me. <laughs> and, 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 now you scene. punch. And scene. Now oh. you punch. Well, who am I punching? <laughs> just you just punch, just punch. Go, punch, 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 punch. <laughs> yeah, because now you could go. You could go oh, yeah, me, yeah. Bang, you, you, yeah. me, you, me, and we could just go around in circles. Oh, oh Zoe Bell, we've created a loop. Uh, <laughs> hey, Zoe, I tell you what, bloody one of the great New Zealanders, Zoe yeah. Bell, and it's always fun catching up with you, mate. It's a pleasure, always mine.